Here is the beautiful Pad Kaprao. Now this here is the one of the national dishes in Thailand. It's extremely popular. You can be found everywhere and anywhere and anytime. Here in Thailand, for breakfast, the locals love to eat um, a porridge, which consists of either pork or chicken. This one here is chicken with some coriander on top. If you walk into a McDonald's in Thailand, everybody's eating fried chicken. Like, no one's eating burgers. They're all eating fried chicken. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Bangkok, Thailand. Now, today, I'm en route to a McDonald's. We're about to discover what McDonald's in Thailand is like, and what better way to get there than on the back of a tuk-tuk. Now, McDonald's in Thailand is famously known for its menu that can't be found anywhere else in the world. So I'm excited to share this with you here today. Now, I am with Gladys. Hello. She's gonna be the um, camera woman today for this episode. Now, she's actually filmed the video here before and you were actually telling me that the McDonald's menu here is unique because they actually have some very traditional Thai dishes on the menu. They sell something I really like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, well, don't give it away just yet. We'll, we'll show you guys what she's talking about here in a few minutes. Now, to be quite honest with you guys, I am a bit ashamed of myself that I'm going to McDonald's here for breakfast in Thailand, especially when there's so many different street food options that can literally be found on every corner 24 hours a day here in Thailand. But as always, I love to dabble in the different menu options of Old Faithful all around the world. And yes, I'm referring to McDonald's as Old Faithful because that is the place where most tourists, when they're traveling around the world and they're craving something with a familiar taste, that's where we run to. We run to McDonald's to get our burger fix, our fry fix, and of course, explore the unique menu items that can be found in every country around the world. In Hong Kong, we had pizza at McDonald's. In Sri Lanka, we had curry and rice. In Malaysia, we had nasi lemak. What are we gonna find here in Thailand, McDonald's? Who knows? Let's explore. All right guys, so the moment of truth. I got about 10,000 calories right in front of me and I couldn't be any happier. Now, I wasn't able to film the whole interaction process with the screen because there is no touch screen here at this McDonald's like there are in other uh, countries in Asia. Here, there's still human interaction, which I very much enjoy. So um, yeah, this here is what I ended up ordering. Let me show you guys a little bit about what I, what I came up with for today's video. So this here, it's a box that says quarter pounder with cheese, but trust me, it is not a quarter pounder with cheese. This here inside is a McTruffle burger. Yes, you heard that right. It's basically a, a cheeseburger with black pepper truffle sauce. What? Oh man, and that smells unreal. And the bread doesn't feel like, you know, a typical bun that you would find at a McDonald's. Impressive. Now this here is a McMuffin, but it's not any ordinary McMuffin. This here is a chicken pepper steak McMuffin. Yes, you heard that right. They do everything here with pepper, and um, yeah, I can't go. You can't go wrong with it. You know what I mean? Like chicken pepper steak. It's very cute. It's small. Um, the chicken patty is not actually not big at all. Definitely looking forward to this one because the McMuffins at McDonald's are by far some of my favorite menu items. Now. We actually got the, um, what is the proper name for this? This here is the McChicken Porridge. McChicken Porridge. Now here in Thailand, for breakfast, the locals love to eat um, a porridge, which cons consists of either pork or chicken. This one here is chicken with some coriander on top. It smells really good too. Then of course I had to get the pork option which looks and smells incredible as well. Now this one actually looks like it's a pork patty that they've just chopped up and thrown inside. Oh, and this actually looks like it might be the meat from a McChicken that was chopped up and thrown inside. Interesting, right? Now this here is something very unique that I've never seen anywhere else in the world. Well, to be fair, I've never seen these pork porridges anywhere else in the world neither. But this here is a ham and cheese pie. What? You know what? We're about to go into this one first, I think. Ham and cheese pie. And then, I'll pick that up here in a second. And then we also got the famous pineapple pie, which I've had before at McDonald's um, here in Thailand. It's very delicious. And yeah, I can't wait to show you guys what the inside of this bad boy looks like. 
And then of course, we got our cup of coffee with our creamer. And we got this, um, like some sort of bun that they actually eat here with the uh, porridge in the morning. So this is like a Chinese, like some sort of Chinese bread. Oh man, you know what? Let's just go ahead and dive right into the pork porridge. Why not? Actually, we're gonna go chicken first. So this here is the chicken. And yeah, you're just gonna do one of these motions. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, this is delicious. Has the same texture of like a donut. I very much like it and the porridge itself is a little bit on the saltier sides of things, but it's delicious and it has like a hint of like lemongrass as well in the chicken. I love to make chickens from uh, McDonald's, so I have a feeling that's the same exact chicken in there. Mm. Very hot, but dude, that is good stuff, you know? I didn't think I would like like an oatmeal with chicken inside, but this is good. It goes well together. That is very nice. And I love the little, the bowl that it comes in as well too, like more energy every day. It's awesome that in everywhere else in the world, they like show more love at the McDonald's um, as far as like the packaging and the, the actual McDonald's location than they do in the US. In the US, man, it's kind of turning into to shat, you know? Um, it's quite bad. I don't really go to McDonald's back at home too much. This here is the, um, the pork porridge. And yeah, this one, honestly, I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't really call my attention as much as the chicken one does. Maybe just because of the way that the, the pork is chopped up. Like, look, it's still pretty much like, like a patty inside. All right, let's try this bad boy. You know what? Looks can be deceiving, my friends, this. This one might be better than the chicken. Wow, it's very good. I like it. The texture is very much just like oatmeal. A lot of lemongrass. Yeah, I approve of the porridge at McDonald's. That is a no-brainer. However, there's also one more thing that's a no-brainer at McDonald's. The famous Holy Grail. The, the hash brown. You can never go wrong with a hash brown from McDonald's. Mm. No. That same familiar taste that I love so much. Yep. That is bomb. All right. Now, let me get let me hit myself with a little napkin real quick. Mm. And then let's dive on into the Let me make sure I'm calling this the right name. This here is the pepper chicken McMuffin. And by the way, guys, I spent 15 US dollars on all of this food. In the US right now, McDonald's is quite expensive. That's actually why I don't go to McDonald's too often back at home because I'd much rather go to a sit-down restaurant and eat some good quality food uh, for the same price, but just spent around 11 to $12 just on a burger combo, just on a Big Mac combo, some um, extreme bargain here in Thailand. All right, pepper chicken steak McMuffin or pepper chicken McMuffin. You know, I don't like this. Nah, I don't like it. So it has mayonnaise, chicken, cheese, and like a pepper sauce inside of it. It just doesn't go well together, in my opinion. I don't think I'm. A, I don't think I'll be eating that one anymore. I'll stick to my regular McMuffins because I love those so much. But this here, on the other hand, this is calling my attention. The ham and cheese pie. All right, let's do one of these breaks. Hopefully it looks good in the inside for the camera. Let's see. Oh, okay. It looks like a cheese pie. I don't know where the ham is in there, but let's, let's try it. Yo. Okay. 
That is crazy good. Reminds me of a Hot Pocket back at home. When I was a kid, I used to eat ham and cheese Hot Pockets. This here is nothing to play with, guys. It's bomb. It tastes exactly like a ham and cheese Hot Pocket. Mmm. You know what? I'm gonna put that aside, though, because that's a little too good. And I gotta share that with the camera woman. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Let me hit that Coke Zero real quick. Not the healthiest way to start a morning, but... It's good to have fun in the mornings as well. Every once in a while, you know what I'm saying? Alright. Now, let's go ahead and try... Yo, what I've been craving since I saw it on the menu when I first arrived at Thailand. The black truffle... What is this? Truffle beef burger. Oof. And look at that bread. No, this looks like a high-class burger. Holy shit. Dude, there's even mushrooms in there. Yo, this is banging. I don't know why we don't have this in the U.S. Mmm. No way. That should be something that's found everywhere. That is crazy good. And you know what I'm thinking? All that black truffle sauce that's on the side? I think that'll go perfectly with like some french fries. Like, mm. When you're a fat boy, you're a fat boy. If you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? And that truffle sauce? Yo, that hits different. Mm-hmm. Okay, that is definitely going down. <laughs> when I'm done with this video, that truffle burger is going in my stomach. All right. Now we have the, the famous pineapple pie. Now, this has been around for years. I think the truffle burger, that's like a new creation. But this one here, this is a classic here in Thailand McDonald's. I remember when I came in 2017, I had my first one. All right. I'll show you guys what the inside is looking like. Oh, it just came out the top. Oh yeah, just a bunch of pineapples in there. This is my first time I've actually dissected a pineapple pie at McDonald's. Mmm. Okay. But unlike the ham and cheese pie that was salty, this here is very much sweet. This is a dessert. The fat boy inside of me would be telling me was telling me that this pie would go good with some vanilla ice cream. You stick that pie in some vanilla ice cream, boy, you're in for a good one. All right, well, you know what? We have one more menu item that still isn't being served yet. I gotta wait about another 20 minutes for it to come out, but it's the Pad Caprao, the world famous Pad Caprao. So, uh, I'm gonna relax here for a few minutes and I'll see you guys once the Pad Caprao comes on out. All right, 20 minutes went by, and here is the beautiful Pad Caprao. Now, this here is the one of the national dishes in Thailand. It's extremely popular. You can be found everywhere and anywhere and anytime. People love it here. Now, this one is actually made with chicken, but the usual uh, Pad Caprao that you'll be eating at, like, a restaurant on the streets is usually made out of pork or beef. Now, this is actually one of Gladys's favorite dishes here in Thailand. It's her all-time favorite. Right now, she's behind the camera like... Um, but we'll have to be the judge and see if the McDonald's Pad Caprao holds up to the Pad Caprao that can be found everywhere else in Thailand. Now the rice, I must be honest, the rice doesn't look too appetizing. Um, I don't know, it looks a bit dry for my liking. But let's go ahead and, and do one of these motions. Yeah, that just happened. And no, I'm not cutting that. So yeah. The rice tastes like rice. What can I say? All right, let's when try that, that again. When that happens in my country, people say, "Look at the thumbnail, like somebody is watching you and uh, craving your meal." That's maybe why that's why that happened. Did you guys understand that? Gladys said that in her country, when something like that happens, everybody says it's because somebody's um, craving your meal. Are you guys craving this pack of brown right now? Hmm. 
You know, it's very good. Unique taste, very spicy. But it's quite crazy. I love McDonald's. It's quite crazy how innovative they are. They use the same chicken patty to make absolutely everything. They use it in the soup or in the porridge. This is the same patty you would find on the McChicken, just diced up and yeah, dribbled and dri uh, drizzled in like a basil leaf uh, stir fry. It's amazing. It's really good actually. It's very spicy, but nonetheless, very nice. Mmm. Yeah. This I approve of as long as you have some water next to you and something to drink. Well, you know what guys? I think from here, inside of the McDonald's, is where I'm actually gonna be finishing this video because now it's time to go drink a coffee, relax, um, think about all the bad decisions I made this morning eating all of this food. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know what you would like to try off of the menu. Let me know if this menu looked appetizing to you and if it looks better than what you have in your country at McDonald's. Please, if you're from a different, please, if you're, please, if you're watching from a country outside of the United States and you have some uh, very unique menu items at your McDonald's, please let me know what those are down below because I definitely want to make a trip to your country and try the McDonald's that you have nearby. And let me just tell you guys, McDonald's in Thailand, every time you sit down at one of their restaurants, it is so beautiful inside, so well decorated. I mean, look at all the pieces of fried chicken and make fish filet and all kinds of amazing stuff on the walls now the fried chicken the Thai people are gonna probably be like yo Chris you ruined the video why didn't you try the fried chicken because if you walk into a McDonald's in Thailand everybody's eating fried chicken like no one's eating burgers they're all eating fried chicken however we've tried fried chicken and all of the other McDonald's that we've been to in the world so you know what I sat the fried chicken out this morning probably because it was a little too early this morning all right, guys, I'll see you again soon for another uh, video from here in Thailand. Later, guys.